I just got off the ferry here on the Thames and I'm on the search for the best pie and mash in London. This is pie and mash, mushy peas, and jellied eels, a classic London meal. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for this. I am a huge fan of pie, I've always been since I was a very little kid. But in America, we only have sweet pies. We don't have meat pies, and I love meat pies too. Uh, also due to my Puerto Rican heritage where empanadas, which is meat pastries, are very popular. So meat pie places are basically fast food places, and we have a huge menu of different pies right over there. And then you have also a lot of takeaway options, sausage rolls, and this is the meat pie. This is beef. Uh, pie with some mushy peas, lots of gravy, um, a very interesting gravy, and also mashed potatoes. And then we have the jellied eels, which are eels that are jelly. Yep. And of course, some cider. I'm drinking Thatcher's Gold Somerset Cider. Now, this place, Goddard's of Greenwich, is one of the oldest continuously running pie and mash shops. A lot of pie mesh shops unfortunately have shut down a few decades. BBC said that they went all the way from 60 to about only 20 pie mesh shops that are traditional left anymore. So let's see. Uh, this has been open since 1890. Let's try it out. So this is drenched in gravy. The puff pastry has already gotten a little bit soggy because I set up the camera, so couldn't bite right into it, but Good thing I didn't do so because it's very hot. Let's try it out. Mm. Wow, great puff pastry, very soft, perfectly for being drenched in this gravy. Um, so you end up getting kind of soggy pastry, but in a very good way. It's really stuffed with meat, but it's not like a huge meat pie that's meant for an entire meal. Here you have a smaller pie that's a little bit skinnier, so it doesn't overwhelm the entire rest of the meal. And then let's try the mash. Mm. Oh. Great, simple, fresh mashed potatoes. No frills. It's not your processed mashed potatoes. Nice classic mashed potatoes. So good. Very creamy. Wow. I've been yearning for this so much. Mm. It's been four years since I've come to London and I haven't had the chance to really enjoy a good meat pie. Mm. No, the actual gravy sauce is really interesting. Um, it has a different name. So now let's try the jelly eels, which might not sound very appetizing. It probably isn't appetizing to most people, but I'm super curious. I like eels. I like my eel sushi. Uh, jelly, it's okay. Let's try it out. This one apparently still has the bone in the middle. It was very fresh eels. He recommended that I added, the guy behind the counter recommended that I added some vinegar and some salt. So let's do that before I actually bite into it. So some vinegar. Give some salt. Cheers. Let's try this out. Ooh. This is really good. It's so smooth. And the jelly actually has an interesting texture to it. Can you get me one large? 
I'm being very careful not to bite into the bone. But super smooth, very meaty. I love the skin. The skin is actually a really nice touch. It's like having good uh, salmon skin as well. And the jelly it just adds a extra creaminess to it. It's very interesting. So interesting. To me, it almost tastes like tofu, for example. Okay, that has a bone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I couldn't taste the bone. Mm. I don't know why people are freaked out by this. They're amazing. Try jelly veals. So I basically did not eat the entire day and I was going to go potentially to a second pie mesh shop, but pie mesh shops tend to close pretty early. So I think I might just go for a second pie. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. The list of pies is huge. Beef pie, we have steak and ale pie, steak and kidney pie, chicken pie, lamb pie, chili pie, chicken pie, so many pies. Okay, I'm super hungry, so I had to go for a second pie. And look at this. This is a lamb and rosemary pie covered in gravy. We already had the liquor one, which is very interesting. Tastes uh, more lighter. But this one, I like it for the heartiness. Also, it's so inexpensive. Uh, this meal is costing about 10 pounds. And I'm getting a whole lot of food. This is such a great deal. Uh, and then if you take it away, then you're not eating it, even even cheaper. So this is a great way to stuff up, have a hearty meal for very inexpensive in London. And it's fresh. I gotta work through these other jelly deals. So rather, better combining it with the pie. Oh, look at that, wow. Ooh, the lamb is really, really ground up. Oh, that's interesting. Very, very thick sauce that they're using in the lamb. That is so interesting. Oh, I'm excited for this. And the gravy itself is also very thick. Look at that. When you move it around, you can see how thick it is. This ain't the normal American gravy that's usually a bit more liquidy. I have no idea how these pie mash places have kind of lost popularity. It's, it boggles my mind. This is like the best food ever. I have no idea why people associate British food with that being so good. It's so amazing. All right, here it is. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm going to have a little bit more jelly with that. Oh, wow. The jelly adds a little bit of coolness after biting into a hot pie, but that pie. As I mentioned, the sauce is so thick, super hearty. It's heartier than the beef pie I had, because this one has a lot of sauce. You get a huge punch of rosemary. So they didn't just sprinkle rosemary, they put a huge punch of rosemary. Wow, and the gravy itself, let me try the gravy alone. So the gravy, right here. Interesting. In America, usually we have gravies sometimes that are a little bit sweeted, or gravies that are very salty, or kind of both. This gravy is more neutral. You have to add your own salt in order to get more saltiness out of it, which in my opinion is a good thing, because the gravy does not overpower the taste of the lamb, which is so good. Because you do not want gravy to overwhelm the entire meal. Mm. Wow, so much punch of flavor. I was so mesmerized by that pie that I completely forgot to record an outro. Highly recommend Goddard's in Greenwich. It's one of the best I've ever tried and also the prices are amazing. So here from riding the train in England, can't wait to try another great food out here in this country. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring.